welcome dear students we'll just watch a video just for revision that we are done with yesterday some part of the text so please watch it carefully the bond of love i will begin with bruno my wife's pet sloth bear i got him for her by accident Two years ago, we were passing through the sugarcane fields near Mysore. People were driving away the wild pigs from the fields by shooting at them. Some were shot and some escaped. We thought that everything was over when suddenly a black sloth bear came out panting in the hot sun. Okay, you understood firstly what does the here author say? You can see I am reading first para. Yes, sir. So that you can understand. I am telling you yes, what. So read here. So first para says I will begin with Bruno, my wife's pet sloth bear. So you know who is Bruno? How does it become the author's wife? Pet. Who is I here? The narrator, the author. Who is telling us this story? I got him. For her by accident. So what was that accident? You listen now carefully. Now I will not shoot a sloth bear wantonly, but unfortunately for the poor beast, one of my companions did not feel that way about it, and promptly shot the bear on the spot. As we watched the fallen animal, we were surprised to see. that the black fur on its back moved and left the prostrate body then we saw it was a baby bear that had been riding on its mother's back when the sudden shot had killed her the little creature ran around its prostrate parent making a pitiful noise i ran up to it to attempt a capture it scooted into the sugarcane field following it with my companions i was at last able to grab it by the scruff of its neck while it snapped and tried to scratch me with its long hooked claws we put it in one of the gunny bags we had brought and when i got back to bangalore i duly presented it to my wife So you can see here now second paragraph some part of uh, paragraph number 1 two years ago we were passing through the sugar cane are you getting me dear students hello and there you know just two years ago he is sharing the incident that had took uh, taken place there you know by accident how it happened that they were passing through the sugar cane field near mysore and people were driving away the wild pigs from the pit by shooting at them some were shot and some escaped we thought we thought that everything was over when suddenly a black sloth bear came out panting in the hot sun and you know your students there you know they were all there in the sugar cane field everywhere all sugar cane they must have gone for some trip or some uh, spend, spending some time in the fields in mysore and just near the village there they saw that some people they are driving away the wild pigs from their fields you know by shooting them you know even uh, in ahmednagar and nearby some places there are such kinds of pigs which are just you know spoiling the crops of the farmers and so they have to make some arrangement in order to drive away the wild pigs and that's what the people from that village were doing and they were shooting them all and you know some were shot and some escaped so some of the pigs were shot and they died over there but some could successfully run away from there and could escape from that place and there you know all of a sudden they saw one of the black sloth bears coming out and panting in the hot sun so panting she was you know running from one place to another and was feeling tired you know the breathing you can understand of that sloth bear who was just trying to escape from that sugar cane where the people were shooting them all and many of them were died and were shot down and there 
the author saw one of the sloth bears, the black in color, that was panting and was just coming out from the sugar sugar cane field. Then what happened? Now, second number paragraph, you can see, I will not shoot a sloth bear, want, want leave, but here want, want only means for no good reason, without any proper reason, without any appropriate reason, one should not do something wrong. But he was feeling that, that he should not kill that sloth bear because it had nothing done wrong with him. But unfortunately, for the poor beast, you know, same kinds of feelings were not there with his companion. Some other people, those who were there with the author, they did not feel anything for that old or the sloth bear. And finally, it happened that they shot that bear down. So one of my companions did not feel that way about it and promptly shot the bear on the spot. And there the bear was shot down. The one, the same, that the author had mentioned in the para number one at the last line, black sloth bear, that was finally shot down. Then was it enough or did they notice something different happening there? That is there in para number three. As we watched the fallen alien animal, we were surprised to see that the black fur on its black moved and left the prostrate body. Then we saw it odds baby bear that had been riding on its mother's back when the sudden shot had killed her. The little creature ran around its prostrate parent making a pitiful noise. And dear students, finally, you know, these people, one of the companions of the author, shot the bear down. And there was a baby bear, just which had hung and hold the body of the mother bear, who was shot down finally the companion of the author. And the bear died over there. But they found that body little moving, the black fur of its back, right? And there came up one of the baby bear, baby sloth bear. And this little creature just run here and there. It ran, but of no use because there was nobody, you know, to help that sloth bear. Finally, what happened, as you know, that the author went there and helped him. Dear student, it's better, is it better? that we should go in the forest and kill the wild animals or we should no, sir. just no, sir. No, no, sir. we should shoot the animals do you agree we should shoot the animals no sir no. but i will say yes we should not shoot the animals with gun but we should shoot the animals with camera do you agree so what should we yes, shoot the animals with Gun or camera? Camera. 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 You can see that these people, the companion of the author, shot down the bear with the gun. Gunshot. Right? And it fell down. And there was a baby bear now, left all alone, running here and there, making you know, some pitiful noise, showing the grip that the baby bear had. Then what happened? Let's see. As you already know the story, but we'll just discuss little in more detail, right? So number four paragraph here is, I ran up to it to attempt a capture. It scooted into the sugarcane field. Following it with my companions, I was at last able to grab it by the scruff of its neck while it snapped and tried to scratch me with its long hook claws. And you know, finally, as these people, the author and the companion, moved towards the sloth bear. The baby sloth bear started running, started scooting into the sugarcane field in order to hide himself. But finally, they could easily grab that little sloth bear and they could snap and put it into the gunny, you know, bag that they are mentioning. But that baby bear, you know, trying to scratch them, try to harm these people so that it could lose, it could escape itself. From these kinds of people who had killed, you know, its mother, the sloth bear's mother, or shot down by these people only. Even if there was not the author who did, but there was a companion. And so it was very natural that the baby bear was very scared and was afraid of these people, those who had killed 
his own mother right are you understanding everyone that's what we watched in the video yes sir in the summary okay let's see now what happens there are many students just joining and i'm spending little time and getting introductions to admit them anyway we we'll continue number 5 we put it in one of the gunny bags we had brought and when i got back to bangalore i duly presented it to my wife she was delighted she had once put a colored ribbon around its neck and after discovering the cub was a boy she christened it bruno and dear students she was very happy that got that cloth bear with him and finally took the baby bear at his home and presented it to his wife and also his wife was very happy she was delighted to see the baby, the baby cloth bear at her home and you know she finally put a colored ribbon around its neck and when she came to know that it was she cloth bear not she then she christian means named it as bruno you know here you can understand after discovering the cub was a boy means male or female boys the sloth bear was a boy Me. it means it was not the boy in fact but wanted to say that it was male sloth bear right and so christian means gave the sloth bear a name and what name did she give what did she call it as bruno very good this is now number paragraph 6 let's see what happens do you want me firstly to explain or want to watch that much of part of the video i think yesterday also we have watched so better we go with the explanation right and at last if the time permits we will watch the video again right do you agree dear students yes, very good so bruno soon took to drinking milk from a bottle it was but a step further and within a very few days he started eating and drinking everything else and everything is the right word for he ate porridge made from any ingredients vegetables fruits nuts meat especially pork curry and rice regardless of continent condiments and chilies bread eggs chocolates sweets pudding ice cream etc 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 everything you know whatever was there was he began with drinking milk that took from a bottle and then he took some further steps and within very few days that he was there or after he had started eating and drinking the things at his home he could drink and eat everything that was there home be it porridge be it you know vegetables of any ingredients or fruits nuts meat curry rice chili bread eggs chocolates sweets pudding ice cream etc 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 everything and so is the word here the uh, author has emphasized on everything is the right word do you understand dear students why the author says that everything is the right word here that he could drink and eat are you getting everyone yes sir and yes sir the list doesn't end here there are yes, some sir. more items that he could drink as for drink milk tea coffee lime juice aerated water butter milk beer alcoholic liquor and in fact anything liquid it all went down with relish and he could enjoy all kinds of foods to eat and all kinds of drinks to drink right so this way within few days he started eating and drinking everything are you getting dear students everyone the things i will not repeat again you know them fine yes yes sir yes sir the number 7 paragraph the bear became yes, very attached to our two alsatian dogs and to all the children of the tenant living in our bungalow he was left quite free in his younger days and spent his time in playing running into the kitchen and going to sleep in our bed and the way he is spending the time it is described here to read here that the bruno just a very little small cloth bear a young one later became very attached to the dogs alsatian dogs that they were already there at the author's home and also the children who were there of the tenant and those who were paying and staying at the author's home they are you know the tenants and their children so that way you know you can imagine some children around in their bungalow this cloth bear two dogs they are all playing here and there and after that you know they used to just go to bed into the beds 
and also they were running here and there in the kitchen in the yard everywhere and that way they were spending the time but you know one incident happened that was an accident what was it let's see one day an accident befell him i put down poison barium carbonate to kill the rats and mice that got into my library bruno entered the library as he often did and he ate some of the poison paralysis set into the extent that he could not stand on his feet but he dragged himself on his stump to my wife who called me i guess what had happened off i rushed in the car to the wet residence a case of poisoning 10 beer barium carbonate what to do and you know you can imagine now there goes a sloth bear into the library and out of curiosity seeing something that was there on the ground on the floor and it was nothing but a poison barium carbonate it was and it was just put there down to kill the rats and mice in the library of the author but bruno did not know what was it and simply as you know that he was interested in eating anything you know he ate up those poison pills or you know tablets whatever it was in the form of but he ate them all and you know the poison started working and he could not even stand up he his body was completely paralyzed but somehow he dragged himself on his stumps means on his legs you know how uh, which one can drag that way he could drag himself to the author's wife and there the author's wife was really very sad and called the author so that he could come and they could take the sloth bear in the hospital to the veterinary doctor and so it is mentioned in the last three lines dear students we can see 114 you can just understand what a, what does it show oh i rushed in the car to the vet's residence a case of poisoning tame bear barium carbonate what to do and you know it was the first case it is not you know a very common incident that takes place right so it is a uh, it is an exclamation mark given there a case of poisoning and there it shows how they were hurry in right and it was a tame bear they are telling to the doctor they are telling the doctor and what did it or the sloth bear eat barium carbonate and they are asking for the help from the veterinary doctor now what to do what will happen will it recover or die they are so much worried and there the doctor again is also in a hurry because it is really a serious and an emergency time for this sloth bear let's see what does happen how can his medical books and a feverish feverish reference dear students you can see huh? the structure of the sentences of i rushed then out came his medical book what do you understand from this what does it indicate the structure is in other word uh, other way how should this sentence be i rushed off in the car but it is of i rushed in the car then his medical books came out should be the sentence but here it is out came his medical book what do you understand from this in fact it is a figure of speech called inversion right but what do you understand here dear students the author has mentioned such kinds of sentences what does it indicate anybody please hurry what does it indicate they are all in hurry that's what they indicate out i came or out the doctor's book came off i rush to the car so it shows all about the hurry they are making are you understanding dear students it is an emergency time that the sloth bears life is in danger his life has at risk and they want him back revived completely so this kinds of structures of the sentence they indicate the hurry right understanding everyone yes or no yes very good so out came his medical books and a feverish reference to index began what poison did you say sir barium carbonate ah oh, yes b b b he is now searching you know like we search for a word in the dictionary like he began b then b a then barium barium salt ah uh, barium carbonate symptoms paralysis treatment injection of just a minute sir i'll bring my syringe and the medicine and that way you know those dot dots dash what do it, what does it all indicate the hurry that they are in the emergency time that they are they are in the circumstances there are are described in such a way so finally he is searching for barium carbonate then he search for symptoms 
then they match yes paralysis then he searched for the treatment and he found that there should be given an injection and then he brought his syringe and the medicine that was mentioned there then what does it happen are you getting your students everyone yes sir yes okay. yes sir then a dash back to the car yes. bruno still floundering about on his stumps but clearly waking rapidly some vomiting heavy breathing with heavy planks and gaping mouth and you know you can see somehow he has been brought there in the hospital you know managing um, completely you know almost in the position that cannot even get up and stand up on his feet you can just imagine and there the doctor comes with a syringe and you know that flows there before being injected on his stump somehow managing to stand and balance weakening weakening means completely being losing his energy also vomiting sometimes because there is a poison inside his stomach heavy breathing you can see heavy planks and gaping mouth uh, uh, you know how, how does it happen are you getting everyone yes or no yes sir yes sir good boys and girls understanding well right then hold him everybody in goes by hypodermic and you know again the hypodermic goes in instead of saying that in goes the hypodermic bruno squill 10 cc of the antidote enters its system without a drop being wasted then 10 minutes later condition unchanged another test 10 cc injection 10 minutes later breathing less than stertor years then bruno can move his arms and legs a little although he cannot stand it 30 minutes later bruno gets up and has a great feel started eating something now feeling well looks at you know everybody or us disdainfully as much as to say what's the barium carbonate to a big black beer like me bruno is a, bruno is still eating and you can understand dear students there the bruno's condition that after being injected the first time you know there was no difference still you know just heavy crying and getting mouth heavy breathing vomiting but after that one more inject injection was given after 10 minutes and it really worked and so his breathing was being little normal he could just move his uh, arms and legs is getting his strength back but he could you know he cannot stand but after 30 minutes he got up and you know started eating and looking at these people you know as if he is saying what this barium carbonate can do to such a big black bear like me what's a barium carbonate to a back big black bear like me and bruno is still eating you know now he got recovered himself na the poison was controlled it it was you know cured with the injection given him to given to the slot there twice and what was the quantity 10 cc you know dear students in the injection period 5 cc 10 cc 15 20 they are given even in the medicines and their you know bottles they are mentioned you know all about it dear students i will not explain everything that what is barium carbonate and all yes sir if you want you may search for it but you you could imagine the condition there the circumstances of the slot here that he is in and how he could recover and his feeling everything you got dear students fine can we move ahead to the next para yes sir yes, yes sir. sir and there is now the slot here eating fine then one more incident happened like this what is it let's see another time he found nearly one gallon gallon of old engine oil which i had drained from the sump of the fruit baker and was keeping as a weapon against the inroads of termites he promptly drank the lot but it had no ill effects whatever and you know this author had brought again you know some engine oil from fruit baker in an old american american car that he had and had collected it in one of the container and there went this cloud there and drank it as much as he could he drank a lot but you know there was no ill effects at all there were no side effects and uh, he had not to be taken again to the hospital to the veterinary sir it was for sir it was for me pardon yes dear vaishnavi sir that was for me today and he drank it Which I am not getting you. Yes, the slot there drank it. 
a lot you know promptly so this not bear but it had no side effects no ill effects on the sloth bear it did not suffer like penny ate those calc uh, barium carbonate right and uh, he was paralyzed completely and was finally taken to the hospital but this time nothing happened to him and so was not required at all to take him to the hospital which now is getting understanding yes sir and why he had you know you remember those uh, barium carbonate was put down on the floor to, to in order to kill the mice and the rats but here what purpose did he keep that you know old engine while we at his home as a weapon against the inroads of termites you know there are the termites which spoil the wood at home and to protect those wooden furniture everything at his home he was using it you know for that purpose but he simply went there and found something to drink and drank it right because as you know already that he is very much fond of eating and drinking he eats everything and also drinks right then what happens the months rolled on and bruno had grown welcome arya the months rolled on and bruno had grown many times the size he was when he came and you know some months passed and then it was noticed that he had grown many times the size that he was brought on so was very small that time when he was brought but he was growing and growing continuously after some months he was grown little big in size then what did they decide about it let's see he had equal the alcatian in height and had even outgrown them and as far as the height is concerned of the sloth bear it was almost equal to alcatian those dogs at their home but as far as the you know size is concerned it was outgrown he had become fatter than those alcatian dogs but odds just as sweet just as mischievous just as play playful but even if he was grown in height and the size but he was as sweet as he was that time when he was brought he is today even as mischievous as he was before and he is still as playful as he was before there was no difference noticed but of course there was a difference noticed that was in his size because he, he was outgrown in the size and uh, and was also as tall as the alcatian dogs and he was very fond of us all above all he loved my wife and she loved him too he had changed his name from bruno to baba a hindustani word signifying small boy and he could do a few tricks too at the command baba raisel or baba box he vigorously tackled anyone who came forward for a rough and tumble give him a stick and say baba hold gun he pointed the stick at you ask him baba where is baby and he immediately produced and cradled affectionately a stump of wood which he had carefully concealed in his straw bed but because of the tenant children poor bruno or baba had to be kept chained most of the time and dear students as you know that this sloth bear which was just a uh, month old or some days old that time when he was brought at their home had now grown big in size even he was bigger in the size than the alcatian dogs but equal in height right but he was very sweet and mischievous and playful as it was before and everybody liked him very much and he also liked everybody all the person at his home and the children of the tenants as well but his wife loved him very much and so he loved her very much you know there was a bond of love between them between the sloth bear and the author's wife and there see all the time treated the sloth bear as if the sloth bear is not an animal but her own child that was she was looking after the sloth bear all the time and finally she also named that sloth bear as baba which means small boy firstly she named it as bruno as a name of animal but later she realized that sloth bear this bruno was finally the part of their family and so renamed that sloth bear as baba and she also taught the sloth bear some of the commands and that 
he could easily do some of the thing activities at her own for example if one says baba wrestle or baba box he could do see like baba wrestle or baba box in for in the boxing position or wrestling position he used to be and was ready to uh, fight with anybody coming there to uh, forward for a rough and tumble means for fighting or wrestling then if you just give him a stick and say baba hold gun and uh, after you are after you are given a stick he used to point you know that stick in such a way as if he is pointing and is trying to shut down someone with a gun then if you ask him baba where is the baby then immediately that stick that he had or the stump of wood he used to cradle affectionately in such a way as if the wood wooden stump is not the wood but it is its baby and that way he used to cradle it affectionately you know this thing that the slot bear baba bruno had learned understood dear students are you understanding everyone but at last you know this bruno after all he was a wild animal and so they did not own the family members that it should harm any other child a child of the tenant so they started now keeping this slot bear chained most of the time chained he was tied with a chain and could not move crossing the limits that they want he should be in right understanding like we tie the uh, dog and some other animals similarly it was done with him also then my son and i advised my wife and friend advised her to to give baba to the zoo at my school he was getting too big to keep at home after some weeks of such advice she at last consented hastily and before she could change her mind a letter was written to the curator of the zoo right means a person in charge of the zoo or taking care over there the curator of the zoo did he want a tame bear for his collection he replied yes the zoo sent a cage from mysore in a lorry a distance of 87 miles and baba was packed off and finally dear students as they were worried about the tenants and the children finally they were, they were little worried about this baba also that he was most of the time or chained and was too big in size to keep it at home and so even the author's son and he himself advised his wife who was loving much baba that baba should be now sent to the zoo at mysore even some of her friends the author's wife friends also suggested and advised her the same and so after some weeks passed she agreed that baba should be sent to the zoo without before she changed her mind not to send they immediately hastily wrote a letter to the curator of the zoo and made all the necessary arrangement to take baba to the zoo in mysore and finally the zoo curator also agreed it was a distance of 87 miles between mysore and their place and that way you know baba was finally packed off and was sent to the zoo in mysore understood here students understanding the way it must be happening there are you getting your students everyone yes sir very good so we all missed him greatly but in a sense we were relieved my wife was unconsolable she wept and fretted for the first few days she would not eat a thing then she wrote a number of letters to the curator how was baba back came the reply well but pretty he refuses food too and finally you know dear students they missed baba very much greatly they wanted baba as family member with them in their home but they could not keep because it was too big to keep at home right but finally you know they were having a sense of relief that yes baba is now at the right place we need not to worry home is not the proper place to be kept you know such a animal such a wild animal is not there so big in size but you know the author's wife was not consolable she was inconsolable means they could not console her she all the time wept and fretted for slot bear because she was loving that slot bear too much like she loved her own son similarly some days passed this way 
and she started then writing some letters to the curator of the zoo and there used to be the responses from the curator side also that yes it was well but fretting fretting means you know worried unhappy not relaxed not comfortable at all and had stopped eating so those kinds of responses she got so do you think she was happy getting such responses no of course not she was not happy at all and rather wanted to visit the zoo so that she could see her baba bruno the sloth bear and so she plans but every time the author used to find some reason and did not take his wife to the zoo in mysore let's see then what happened finally number 15 paragraph after that friends visiting mysore were back to make a point of going to the zoo and sending how baba was getting along they reported that he was well but looked very thin and sad all the people at the zoo said he was fretting for three months i managed to restrain my wife from visiting my zoo then she said one day i must see baba either you take me by car or i will go myself by bus or train so i took her by car and finally dear students three months passed that she was writing a letter to the curator and asking about baba she was sending her back some responses saying that she was well but was fretting then she did not believe in the curator and finally asked some of her friends who were there in mysore to visit the zoo and tell her the fact how was baba that time there and they also reported to say that baba looked well but looked very thin and sad and finally she could not control herself and finally told her husband that either you take me you take her by car or she would go herself by bus or train and finally the author had to listen to her and they all went to mysore at the zoo to see baba one of their family members bruno or none other than the sloth bear that we are studying about right everyone understanding the story well yes sir very good then friends had conjectured that the bear would not recognize her i had thought to so too but while he was eight some yards from his cage baba saw her and recognized her how she howled with happiness she ran up to him petted him through the bars and stood on his head in delight and you know finally the students they went there the friends and also the author they all conjectured this formed an opinion by guessing that the bear would not recognize the author's wife he won't be bothered who are coming and going there because there are many thousands of people coming and going visiting the zoo but they were wrong because even she had not reached the cage of baba she was just few yards away from there baba could recognize her and he simply howled with happiness she got up ran up to him see also who the author said because she was very happy to see her baba after 3 months that have passed and simply petted him to the bars and also he stood on his head in delight means did he really stood, uh, stand on his head no it, it is just an expression showing that baba was also very happy to see the author's wife and so she was very happy to see her baba understanding dear students why the title of the text is bond of love understanding everyone yes sir good and then number 17 paragraph on page number 116 for the next 3 hours she would not leave that cage she gave him tea lemonade cake cake ice cream and what not then closing time came and we had to leave my wife cried bitterly baba cried bitterly even the hardened curator and the keepers felt depressed as for me i had reconciled myself to what i knew was going to happen next and you know dear students finally you know as if a mother gives everything to her child after she meets the child some months pass they pass or some years what love she expresses for her child the same love here the author's wife showed for baba her baba bruno the sloth bear she had brought everything for him tea lemonade cake ice cream and everything what not everything she had brought and this was 3 hours past dear student and it was the time now to close the zoo and finally you know even the author wept 
even this author's wife she cried bitterly even baba cried bitterly and you know all the people around there they were witnessing this moment the bond of love between the author's wife and her baba the small bear and that way everybody felt so depressed but the author knew what was going to happen next can you say what was going to happen next dear students that he was going to insist him that take our baba back to our home then if he successful bringing baba home you know what happened but let's see here oh please sir she asked the curator may i have my baba back hesitantly he answered madam he belongs to the zoo and is government property now i cannot give away government property but if my boss the superintendent bangalore agrees certainly you may have him back you know finally he was just going on insisting the curator that this is my baba and i want it back like you know in the first lesson from moment the lost child i want my mother i want my father like that here the mother in fact is not the mother of this cloth bear but she knows what love she had for this cloth bear baba bruno and so she insisted and the curator finally said that it was not in his domain that he could grant her a permission to take away baba from the zoo but he suggested one way that if they go to the bangalore and request the superintendent and if he agrees then the curator may make all the necessary arrangement to help them to take baba back to their home and that was what they finally did let's see how did they do number 19 paragraph there followed the written journey to bangalore and a visit to the superintendent's bungalow a tearful pleading baba and i are both waiting for each other will you please give him back to me he was a kind hearted man and consented not only that but he wrote to the uh, curator telling him to lend us a cage for transporting the bear to bangalore and finally you know this family the author his wife son and their friends directly went to bangalore and visited the superintendent's bungalow and met him and they re requested especially the author's wife you know she pleaded she begged for her baba with some tears on her cheeks rolling down saying that baba and i are both waiting for each other will you please give him back to me and they, that man was really a uh, kind hearted man and was consented and finally wrote a letter to the curator saying that he should make all the necessary arrangements lend them a cage so that they can easily take that sloth bear back to their home there is a picture given there on page number 117 at the bottom dear students can you see how that author's wife had brought everything for her baba the sloth bear bruno inside the bar right and how they spent three hours there are you getting dear students hello yes sir enjoying the story or got tired bored hmm this is 1245 i'll end the session don't worry we'll continue in the next session but you want to share something or want to ask me anything you please feel free i'm just going on speaking you are just listening you should also say something dear student come on adi akansha anushka arya avni harshvardhan janvi nishan palak sana sanskruti shreya surbi vaishnavi vedan yashraj yogiraj come on say something are you understanding i know that you have understood the story already yes, after we discussed the summary and also watch the video it helped us understand the story well but there is something you know uh, with word to word explanation that we get everything that is there in the story right do you agree students yes so anything yes, to share yes, need to ask okay then thank you so much dear students have a great day ahead take care bye bye sir bye, bye everyone bye sir bye.